Hello my friends and good morning once again from Cedar Point. Today is day two of the birthday celebrations. The time is currently 10.08 and today is the day I hopefully, hopefully ride Maverick. So it is currently very empty in this park here. Surprising because it is a Saturday, but I think that's because everybody, if you see the people far away, off in the distance there, they're heading probably the same point I am. I forgot to mention that yesterday on day one, I walked about 10 miles, so this <laughs> this walk all the way to the back of the park to get to uh, Maverick <laughs> and Steel Vengeance is not the best way to start a day. At least for me, whose legs are very sore. <laughs> I'm walking here now next to Top Thrill Dragster, which I got to do twice yesterday. I don't think this is gonna be on my list now for today because I have a whole bunch of other places to visit, a whole bunch of other coasters to go to. But Maverick yesterday experienced a lot of downtime, so I was not able to get on that, even though I had the access pass and all that. But that's okay, we're gonna give this another shot and hope for the best. Wow, it is Saturday for sure. I'm kind of scared to see what it's like in Frontier Town. All right guys, I'm almost there, just gonna hang it right here. And I already see a large group of people all the way back there. Oh, there goes Steel Vengeance off in the distance there. Oh man, that first drop was a lot of fun. I heard some people say it wasn't the best RMC drop that they've experienced, but I don't know, it was pretty good to me. So I'm in line here for Maverick, and at 11 it'll open up. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and I actually get on this ride today. I'm sitting right here around the corner to the entrance to Maverick. And any moment now we'll be able to get in, but I wanted to show y'all over there is this line for Steel Vengeance wrapping itself down the little town there. That is crazy. I think it's currently like 1040, 1045. So, wow. It's going to be tough to get a rewrite on that one today. But so far so good. I've seen the trains testing. Should be any moment now. It looks like we're moving. Hopefully I can get on this ride and finally say that I've been on Maverick. Oh boy, was it a... It was an adventure yesterday trying to get on this bad boy, but looks like the wait might finally be over. Well, I'll have a little wait technically. Don't get technical on me. I know you guys love to comment on like that. And then those are the people waiting for access passes to the right. Oh man. Gonna get one of the very first rides of the day here on Maverick. at 95 degree angle. You will then be launched halfway through the ride through a dark tunnel at 70 miles per hour. Well, that was pretty dang amazing. <laughs> uh, it had me at that second launch. The second launch really freaking killed it. That was amazing. I don't know what else to describe it. All the flashing mine lights, all the stuff that was going on there, and then just boom, from darkness out right there. It was a lot smoother than I was expecting to be. I've, set, I've read a lot of reviews that said it was going to be really intense. I rode in the third row. Oh, I just realized I'm right next to the launch there. <laughs> I thought that that was going to be more intense, and maybe it is towards the back, but my experience was super smooth. That's, oh man, I'm going to have to modify my top 10, aren't I? Whew, that thing is... I've never been on a hill like that that was launched. I have never been on anything quite like this. There's an, just lots of nice inversions, a couple of things that went, you know, through me laterally. A little pops ejector, but that launch was the pinnacle of that ride. I'm glad that I was able to get on it. And I gotta say, it wasn't just that second launch. There's a ton of theming that comp like keeps everything tight so you don't know what's coming up next. And that, that really worked. I thought that was some of the most effective use of tunnels and theming. It was light theming, it wasn't super crazy, but it worked. What they had really worked for Maverick. <laughs> wow, I feel like you could just spend all day at the back end of this park and be very satisfied with your day. So this is currently the line for access passes for Maverick. Jeez, it's, uh, it's going all the way back to the train station. Jeez. All right, so I picked up a access pass from one to two for Steel Vengeance here, which I've been taking B-roll for yesterday's and today's stuff because yesterday was kind of crazy and I really didn't get an opportunity to, but I've taken a photo that I'm very proud of that actually has articulation during an inversion. So I'm gonna put that up for you right now. 
and that'll I'll post that on Instagram at some point. This is unedited, what I'm putting uh, right here. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that. There, there, this looks like I'm over by some area where there's like a semi-permanent structure for like uh, their Halloween haunt, which I don't think is happening anymore. Yeah, I got, I got some really cool photos around here. I wish that there was just like a chill lounge area, some benches or something while you're surrounded by Steel Vengeance, because I would be up for that. Just like a Steel Vengeance beer garden? Why not? I think that would be amazing. So I tried checking out over by the exit if there was any good points here for some photos. I took quite a few and I guess I could put them up here, but I'm gonna post them on Instagram anyway at some point. So you can check them out there as well. I always leave a link in the description to all that stuff. I don't know if you know, but you can say hi to me over on Instagram. I'm actually there a lot more often than I am on YouTube. <laughs> But that was a lot of fun, just getting to know Steel Vengeance. It's, I wonder if somebody's gone all out and gone onto the other side over by the beach or by that service road or, or whatever it's called and actually got B-roll from over there. But anyway, while I was walking over the exit, I noticed that the, uh, the little photo thing, the fun pick stuff, uh, for Steel Vengeance is all shuttered up and the one for Maverick is also shuttered as well, which is a bummer. I would have liked to have gotten my photos my on-ride photos. I wonder if that's going to be the case in the rest of the park. I don't know. appreciate the live music they're adding to this whole area kind of brings it all together it's really freaking nice to be honest uh, frontier town is that what it's called I think I hope I'm saying that right uh, so I've been checking my app I still got a lot of work a lot of work to do let's uh, pull over here for one second kind of hash this out yesterday we didn't get as much accomplished as we wanted to do to town downtime but today we did get Maverick I got the access pass to uh, steel vengeance that leaves um, what we got going on behind me over there across the way uh, that mine train we have Raptor still to go Val Raven blue streak Magnum either way I think I have like six or seven left till I get them all done so got to catch them all got to ride them all let's uh, let's see what the wait times are like I'm gonna check the app real quick and then we're gonna see if we can conquer finish conquering Cedar Point but uh, the Cedar Creek mine train is right over here and it doesn't have too long a wait it seems <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in the background they're playing ABBA here really setting the mood for this mine train here because I'm expected to dance on this or something, I guess. I don't know. But the, the theming here is really fun. The music is even more fun. <laughs> Walk by over here to get some nicer views of uh, Maverick here. But anyway, getting back to the uh, that mine train. I didn't realize it was just a regular steel tubular whatever. So it's an old arrow. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like an old Woody. And whoops. Little did I know. The theming around it is really fun, especially when you finish the ride and come in. Uh, well, starting the ride is pretty cool where you're in the station and there's uh, some sound effects and stuff like that going on. But uh, when you finish the ride, you come in and there's like a miner and like there's a whole bunch of uh, outfits for the miners there with their name tags on it. That was pretty funny seeing all that stuff. And there was one, I think it was called Little Shorty. Got a really tiny little mining uh, outfit there. Uh, now my access pass time for Steel Vengeance is up. So it's time to go do that. So we've knocked out one, got Maverick, got Steel Vengeance, and then we're just gonna keep on going. Ooh, I see a nice spot here for, uh, for taking photos of Maverick, so I might just peel off here real quick and do that and then head over to Steel Vengeance.
So that is it guys, got my third Steel Vengeance ride and judging by the wait times for everything else, I don't think I'm coming back to Frontier Town today. But speaking of Frontier Town, I started reading the signs that are in the queue. I didn't realize there was a whole backstory to this whole thing here. Especially, apparently Maverick is a character. Discovered some iron ore here. Steel Vengeance has to do with some other mining company popping up and getting their revenge. Imagine that. I didn't think there would be so much of a backstory here, but I certainly appreciate it. Some of these rides now that I'm trying to make my way uh, towards the front of the park where the other rides are. The lowest wait time I saw is a half hour for Blue Streak. The highest one was like 105 minutes for Val Raven. Or maybe Raptor was a little bit higher at 120. Either way, wow, these rides. Uh, it's gonna be a, a tough afternoon here. We're gonna do our best, we're gonna get on stuff, but I think I'm gonna call it here actually and split this up since now Frontier Town is officially conquered. So I'm getting one last peek here of Steel Vengeance. Not the bathrooms, but Steel Vengeance. And that's going to be it for me, for part three anyway. And we'll pick this up with the rest of the roller coasters in part four. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part of the birthday Cedar Point trip. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye. All right. You can't come in here with me. I'm going to leave you here. <laughs>